cool. Alec the Benjamin. I put a the. Hey. Your new middle name's the. That's okay. Is that cool? That's fine. Alec the Benjamin. I never really understood. Like Chance the Rapper. You're now exactly. Alec the Benjamin. Oh, I never really understood middle names anyways. What is so. your real middle name? Shane. Shane? So last name Benjamin. Yeah. Middle name Shane. Shane. Alec course. Shane Benjamin. Yes, sir. I have three okay. first names. You have three first names? Yeah. Some people don't have one. That's true. You know what That's I mean? That's true. Like one guy, yeah. like, it's called like. Maybe like I bags. need to share. <laughs> yeah. Dude, thanks for coming by. Thank you for having me. And congratulations on everything. Like, life is good for Alec Benjamin right now, man. Um, yeah, I'm, well, I'm really, uh, well, what I will say is um, I do go through a lot of ups and downs emotionally, and, like, the last couple weeks have been hard for me, and so um, I do post a lot of cool stuff on social media, but a lot of times people don't always share the trials and tribulations that they're experiencing outside of what's really fun to post online, so yeah. I don't want people to uh, be confused by that or think that I don't also have it issues because I do yeah. but one of the reasons why today was so cool for me yeah. is because I have been feeling so low mm. and then I got out on stage today for something that I was really nervous for and I think that it went really well and I had a great time congrats on that thank you that's so cool was Thanks. this your first Lala yeah my first one yeah, yeah. cool where are you from originally uh, I'm from Arizona nice yeah. okay so have you know like being from Arizona do you have you ever heard of Lollapalooza yeah, it's I mean, like one I of the big festivals right yeah I think everybody knows about Lollapalooza and yeah. I think like as a kid too it's like I dreamed of being on, on the lineup, you know, yeah. and so to see my name on the lineup is pretty surreal. Yeah, um, I always kind of feel like whenever I see my name on a lineup or whatever, it's a really new thing for me. But I always kind of feel like, oh, it, my name is a name. I'm like, that doesn't belong. There, oh, you know? get out of here! Stop it! You're so humble. No, it's awesome. Um, we're like super excited. We're following your career as it's like really starting to blossom and oh, stuff. Thanks. Um, Kiss FM specifically, your audience. Is there something that you would say to like your Chicago fan base that maybe like? Something they don't know about you, or like maybe give them like a sense of like well, one advice. Of the, one of the well, not this is an advice, but one of the first family vacations I ever went on was to Chicago. So oh, really? That's cool. Yeah. No and some advice for Chicago fans. Well, I would say that um, you know Phoenix is a big city and it's getting bigger. But when I um, when I moved to LA and then I was like, wow, this is a really big city. And I come mm -hmm. to a city like Chicago or you know um, even New York, mm -hmm. uh, and I'm like. Uh, just take advantage of the opportunities that you have living in a big city, you know, yeah. that like has so many, so much to offer in the way of like arts and, um, you know, amazing schools. So uh, I would take advantage of it because um, I love, I love Arizona and there's some, a lot of opportunities there. Um, but you know, um, it just like, it's not as big as Chicago. Maybe, right. maybe What's the population density? Uh, we got like six million here. Okay, Arizona yeah. has eight million, so okay, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> but but I don't know. I think there's something really yeah. spe not that okay. I'm, people in Arizona are gonna be hate. They're like, how could you say that and represent? Our no, they're Arizona not. State? Nobody could ever hate Alec um, Benjamin. Um, I do think though that like at least for the arts and stuff, I think Chicago is like a little bit more open. Um, and come when I was growing up, yeah. Even you know some friends and family like they weren't so open to me like pursuing a, a career in music and so more close-minded, more like they, they vacuum well, like they that's just they weren't close-minded, yeah. but um I just think that I don't know I'm getting, I'm spinning a really bad web for myself. Right <laughs> no, now. you're not. I love you're Arizona, the spokesperson. Arizona is the best. Just every, vote for him. Every place is unique. You should take advantage of what's unique about Chicago, cool. and it has a lot of opportunities. Do you remember when you were when you did your family vacation in Chicago? Do you remember like what you guys did? Was there anything specific that yeah. like jumps out to you? I think we went to the Stinking Rose when we were here. Is that here? No, that's not here. That was in San Francisco. Sorry, yeah. never mind. So well, we went to a really good restaurant, and <laughs> I saw a play. I can't remember Perfect. what play it was, yeah. but I just remember loving Chicago. And then I also remember I opened for an artist named John Bellion, and I played an uh, artist named John Bellion. That's yeah. a big deal, dude. Yeah, he's great. We love John. Well, he's the first, one of the first people to like really give me a shot. And yeah. I wrote on his last album, not this one, but the one before. Sick. Uh, and uh, he was like, "You want to come on tour with me?" And one of the first gigs we played was at the House of Blues in Chicago, which is we were just talking about that venue. It's probably amazing. my favorite House of Blues. What a cool House of yeah. Blues. Yeah, the and, location, um, everything. Yeah. I've just oh, every time I've come to Chicago, I've had an amazing experience. Can I ask you a question about how he had so he John Bellion did some writing for him he gets you to go on tour with him how does he ask you does he text you does he say like face to face bro you should come on tour with me well actually so um I was signed to a record label and then I got dropped like mm -hmm. really early on mm -hmm. and um when I did when I first got signed I went out to the UK to play a music festival and I met John there and I was like a fan of his so I was like dude like can I send you my my demos or whatever and he was like yeah and so um when he went on his first tour I went to Arizona and I drove from California to Arizona because I wanted to meet him but I knew that uh, the LA show was going to be like you know a lot of people there yeah and uh, I, I gave him like my demos and he was like dude I love this about a year later he called me he's like yo we're working on the album 
come right on it and I was like you serious and so I went to his place and I wrote on the album and then um well there's a bug on my face yeah uh, and then um so he called you yeah and then nice. like a year and then so. I didn't hear anything and a year after that he's like yo it's coming out the song we made do you also want to go on the road and I was like yes and yes that would be sick so good yeah. dude big things in the future watch out for this kid Alec right. Benjamin is the 